Any easy seat that feels good for you. May you find your position. I am sitting in a half lotus. As we are using our easy seat to help relax and wind down the mind and body here today. Ensuring that the tummies are nice and tucked, having control of our core, our tummy muscles. Spinal cords are nice and elongated, meaning we are not sunken. Having control of that body with the shoulders relaxed downward away from the ears, this allows us to relax and soothe the upper parts of our bodies. As we slightly gaze our eyes downward, we'll close our eyes if that feels good for us. Taking a nice deep breath in. Exhale through the mouth. Breathe in deeply. Exhale. Take it a moment to notice how the breath feels within the body. As we breathe our palms at heart center, coming into a seated prayer, our thumbs are touching our sternum, the center of our chest. As we take a moment to go inward, checking on self, noticing how we feel right here, right now, in our present moment. Allowing the silence to relax and soothe the body. Three more breaths. Two breaths. As we flow our palms onto the sides of our yoga mats, connecting our palms to the earth, we are tuning into our environment. Taking notice of what's going on around us right here, right now. And during our session here today, we may hear noises and sounds we may become distracted. However, may we only allow in what is comforting and soothing for us and our practice here today. Two more breaths. Breathe in. Exhale. Relax in the body. As we flow our palms above our heads, coming into that salute, fingers flows up towards the heavens, feeling that spine get nice and elongated. Shoulders flows up towards the ears, lengthening the spine, connecting the palms together, interlacing the fingers, pointer finger points up towards the heavens. Heart chakras open, chin is up. Allowing the arms to slightly flow towards the back. You'll feel that slight back bend in your lumbar spine. Feeling a stretch here, two more breaths. Exhale to center, separating those palms. We are in that seated, extended mountain. Palms are separated. Two breaths. Twisting the body towards the right. Palms come down towards the earth, gazing over that right shoulder. Feeling that spinal twist to go deeper in that twist, connecting that left hand to that right knee. Feeling that spinal cord soothe and relax. Gaze in the eyes down. Three breaths. Two breaths. Exhale back to center, coming into that seated star. In our star, our palms are slightly out towards the side. Their heart chakras open, chin is up. Fill in the pose, breathe in. Exhale, twist the body towards the left. Palms come down, gazing over that left shoulder, twisting and soothing that spine. Connecting that right hand to that left knee if you choose to go deeper in that twist. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Exhaling back to center, flowing the palms above the head and that salute, palms together. Exhale, prayer, palms come heart center. Relaxing those shoulders downward away from the ears. Two breaths. Exhale, breathing our feet together, coming into a bound position, either diamond or butterfly. We are working those inner thighs here, opening up those hip flexors. 
In our diamond, our feet are further away from the body. In the butterfly, our feet are closer together. The pose looks the same. It's just a little deeper in the butterfly. Allowing the legs to relax. Noticing that with each breath, you may feel your legs coming from a higher to a lower position, maybe. Simply just allowing the breath to relax and soothe the body. Feeling the pose. As we connect our hands to our feet, slightly hinging at the hips. When we hinge at the hips, we're going deeper into that hip flexor here. So only going down as much as your body comfortably allows you to go down. Maybe our shoulders melt forward. Maybe our head relaxed downward towards our feet, going deeper into that pose. You'll feel this in your lumbar spine, maybe depending on how deep down you go. We're gonna hold this pose, fill in a stretch, two more breaths. Let's hold them back up to center, coming into that diamond or that butterfly. Connecting our hands to our feet, lifting that chin up, heart chakras open. We're gonna flow into our cow pose. Allowing our head to relax between our shoulder blades. You may feel this in your lumbar spine. Two more breaths. Exhale into cat, tucking the tummy at the navel. Chin comes to clavicle, spinal cord flows to the back of the room. Cat pose, three breaths. Exhale back to cat. <clears throat> I'm sorry. Exhale back to cow. Yes. As we flow back to cat. Coming back to our diamond or our butterfly. We're going to use our hands to breathe our legs inward, straightening our legs into a stand pose. Legs are parallel side by side. Maybe our toes are pointing up towards the heavens. Spinal cords are nice and long. Heart chakras open, chin is up. Relaxing our palms on our laps if that feels good. Just gonna relax here in this staff pose. For three breaths, gaze in the eyes down. Breathe in. Exhale. Slightly hinging at the hips, coming into that half forward fold. Noticing how this feel behind the legs and the hamstrings. If we want to go deeper, we can come into a seated forward fold, allowing our hands to connect to our ankles or the bottoms of our feet. Our torso comes closer towards our thighs. We can relax our head downward towards our knees for a deeper stretch. If that feels good, three breaths. Two breaths. Exhale back up to that half forward fold as we come to our staff pose. Relax in the body as we breathe our palms above our head and our salute. Chin is up, heart chakra is open. Breathe in. Exhale, prayer. Palms come heart center. Relax in the body as we cross our feet and our ankles, coming into a tabletop pose. Coming onto our hands and our knees. Our knees are hip distance apart. Palms are flat on the earth. We're gonna relax that body here. Dropping the tummy down, coming into that cow pose. Chin is slightly up. You'll feel this in your lumbar spine. Two more breaths. Breathe in. Exhale to cat, bringing that chin to clavicle, spinal cord flows up towards the heavens, tucking that tummy in at our navel. Three breaths. Two breaths. Coming back to cow. Exhale, cat. Flow into our tabletop pose. As we push our bodies up to our down dog, gazing at our feet. Walking our dog by pedaling our feet left and right. We are working our upper parts of our bodies, building strength in our arms, 
As we find our pause, we're gonna shift our weight forward, coming into that high plank. Tummies are nice and tight. Exhale, back down, dog. Breathing back to that high plank. Tummies are tight, building strength. Two more breaths. Exhale, down dog. Gazing at the feet. Walking our feet towards our hands. Complete forward fold. Allowing our torso to relax over our thighs. Feeling that stretch. This is a full body stretch. You'll feel this behind your legs and your hamstrings. Slightly bending our knees, placing our hands to the side. We're gonna dive one up to a Tadasana. I'm sorry, um, an extended mountain. Yeah. Feeling that stretch. Oh, taking a nice deep breath in. Exhale. Breathing our palms together to a salute. As we lean our bodies towards the right, we are in our standing crescent moon, building this in a side body. Tummies are tight, two breaths. Exhale back to center. Allowing the body to lean towards the left, standing crescent moon, opposite side. Two more breaths. Exhale and back to center, separating those palms, coming into that extended mountain. Breathe in. Exhale, flowing down to chair, bending the knees, arms are extended in front of us. Chair pose, we are working the lower parts of the body. We can come into prayer hand here if that feels good, or we can be in that extended chair with our arms above, whatever feels best. Three more breaths. Two breaths. As we breathe our palms to heart center, twisting our bodies towards the right chair pose twist, slightly gazing at our fingertips. Two more breaths. Exhale and back to center. Chair pose twist, opposite side. Two more breaths. Exhale, back to center. Two breaths, build in strength. Breathe, complete forward fold. This is a counter stretch. When we do our counter stretches, we are relaxing and serving the parts of the body we just worked. So whenever we say counter stretch, that means we're just relaxing and serving. Noticing how this relaxes the muscles and the legs and the knees. Feeling that stretch, taking a nice breath in. Exhale. Three more breaths. Mm -hmm. Two breaths. We're gonna slightly bend our knees, relaxing our palms at our side. We're gonna dive right on back up to that standing mountain, extended mountain. Palms are above. Heart chakras open, chin is up. Breathe in. Exhale. Leaning our body towards the right. Our palms are not together. We are now in our standing side bend. When we breathe our bodies to the side and our palms are together, it's called the standing crescent moon. When our palms are separated, it's called the standing side bend. Two more breaths. Exhale and back to center. Extended mountain. As we lean our bodies towards the left, standing side bend, opposite side. Our palms are not together. Two more breaths. Exhaling back to center, breathing the palms together. We are in that standing salute. Interlacing our fingers with that pointed finger pointing up towards the heavens. We're gonna allow our arms to slightly flow towards the back of the room. Heart chakras open, chin is up. Feeling this slight back bend in the body. 
Two more breaths. Exhale and back to center, standing salute. Separating the palms in that extended mountain. Bending our knees, chair pose. We are in that extended chair, or we can come into prayer hands, whatever feels best for you. We are working the lower parts of our bodies. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Exhale up to Tadasana, straightening those legs, palms are at our side. Tadasana, standing tall. Relaxing those palms at the sides of the body. Taking a nice breath in. Exhale. Feeling those fingers, relax downward towards the earth. Still in the shoulders, relax downward towards the earth. Just relax in that body. Eyes are closed or slightly fluttered downward. As we are taking a moment to check in with self. Noticing how we feel right here, right now, in our present moment, without judgment, simply being aware. Always being kind and loving to oneself. Two more breaths. Breathe in, exhale. As we flow our palms back above our head in that standing salute, palms together. Exhale the prayer, breathing our palms their heart center. As we take that right foot off the earth, we're gonna cross this right foot over that left. We're gonna come into that eagle stance. We can come into eagle's hands if we choose, or we can simply hug our shoulders with our hands and our ego or we can just stay in our prayer hands we are working the lower parts of our bodies we are working on balancing and strengthening here three more breaths two breaths and exhaling out coming back to that to Dawson and standing tall Palms are at our sides, allowing those fingers to flow downward towards the earth. Shoulders relaxes downward towards the earth, towards the fingers. Just feel in the body, relax. Eyes are gaze down as we breathe in. Exhale through the mouth. Flowing our palms back up to our salute, palms together above our head. Exhale to prayer, palms come heart center. Relaxing those shoulders downward away from the ears. As we take our left foot off the earth, we're gonna cross this left foot over that right, coming into that eagle's leg. We can stay at prayer hands. We can come into eagle's hand, or we can simply hug our shoulders. Whatever feels best for you here in your eagle, we are balancing and strengthening our mind and our bodies. We are finding our calm, finding our still as we balance. Two more breaths. Slowly exhaling out, coming back to that Tadasana. Palms are at our side. As we pedal our legs left and right, simply just relaxing our bodies. Finding our pause, coming back up to that salute. We're gonna come on our tippy toes here in our salute. Feeling the body counter stretch, the muscles we just worked here on our tippy toes. We're also working our ankles and we are continuing to balance our bodies. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Exhale into flat feet. Breathing the palms together, coming down to prayer.
standing prayer, relaxing those shoulders downward away from the ears. As we slightly hinge at the hips, gazing forward, straight back, we are in that half forward fold. Prayer hands, still in that stretch behind the legs here in our hands. Two more breaths. Breathing down to a complete forward fold, connecting our hands to our ankles, head melts down towards the feet. Feeling this full body stretch. Three breaths. Two breaths. As we walk our hands forward, coming to down dog, gazing at our feet. Tummies are nice and tight as we walk our dog by pedaling our feet left and right. We're going to breathe this right leg up in the air, three-legged dog, feeling that stretch, gazing back at the foot. Exhale, breathing that knee to that elbow, feeling that tummy crunch. Back to three-legged. Knee to elbow. Back to three-legged. Knee to elbow. Flowing back to three-legged. Exhale, down dog, gazing at the feet. Walking our dog by pedaling our feet left and right. We're gonna find our pause. We're gonna breathe that left foot up in the air, three-legged dog opposite side. Feeling that stretch, two more breaths. As we breathe our left knee to our left elbow, feeling that tummy crunch. Back to three-legged. Left knee to left elbow, knee to elbow. Back to three-legged. Knee to elbow. Back to three-legged. Exhaling down dog. As we breathe our right foot to our right hand, runner's lunge. And we're going to straighten that front leg coming into a pyramid. Torso relaxes over that thigh. Allowing that head to relax downward towards your knee, feeling that stretch. Exhale back to runner's lunge, bending that front knee. Feeling that stretch, we're going to lower this left knee downward towards the earth, coming into that no lunge. <sighs> Allowing our torso to relax over that leg, feeling that stretch. We're preparing the body for split. Just allowing that torso to relax over that leg. You'll feel that stretch in the body. Two more breaths. As we breathe our arms up in the air, torso comes away from that thigh, coming into that crescent lunge, palms above the head. Heart chakras open, chin is up, feeling that stretch. Two more breaths. We're gonna switch opposite sides. I'm sorry, coming back up to a pyramid. Exhale back down, dog. Walking our dog by pedaling our feet left and right. We're gonna find our fall, switching sides, breathing that left foot to that left hand. Run this lunge opposite side. Coming into that pyramid, straightening that front leg. Torso relaxes over that thigh. Head melts downward towards the knee. <laughs> Feel the neck stretch. Come back to that runner's lunge. Bend the neck front knee. We're going to lower this right knee downward towards the earth, coming into that low lunge. 
allowing that torso to relax over that left thigh, feeling the body just stretch and relax their body. This is preparing our body for split. Two more breaths. Exhaling up, pushing our torso away from that thigh, breathing our arms above our head, crescent lunge. Heart chakras open, chin is up, feeling that stretch. Two more breaths. Oh, let's make it a couple more breaths. Exhaling back forward, framing that front foot, taking that knee off the earth, coming back to that pyramid, straightening that leg. Exhale, down dog, gazing at the feet. <laughs> and we're gonna keep on flowing here in our standing stretching positions. We're gonna breathe that right foot back to that right hand. Feeling that stretch, we are in that runner's lunge just for a second. We're gonna straighten that front leg, coming into a triangle, bringing our hand, our right hand to our right ankle. We also could use a yoke block as we extend this left form up in the air and breathe it up towards the heavens. Feeling that triangle pose. We are stretching and lengthening the body here today. Yoga blocks are nice and helpful if you choose. We're gonna hold this for three more breaths. Two more breaths. We're gonna hang here in this triangle and we're gonna slightly twist our bodies towards the left hand comes towards the left angle. We're gonna come into a revolved triangle, lifting now this right arm up in the air. Now we are in that revolved triangle. Keeping in mind, whenever our body's twisted towards our thigh, it's called a revolved pose. Two more breaths. Exhaling back to center, coming back into that pyramid. Just feeling that stretch as we flow back into that triangle. Right hand to right ankle, breathing that left arm up in the air, feeling that stretch. If we choose, we can wrap this left arm around our back in that triangle and you'll feel that slight twist in your lumbar spine or keep the arm up in the air. As we twist the body forward, coming into a wide-legged forward fold, feeling that stretch head melts downward towards the earth, connecting our hands to our ankles. If that feels good, yes, we are stretching and lengthening the body here today. Taking a nice breath in. Exhale. Optioning to rock or sway the body from side to side if that feels good for you. Noticing when you rock and sway, you'll feel the stretch a little more behind your legs and your hamstring. Three more breaths. Finding pause at center. We're going to work on our triangle opposite side. We're going to connect our left hand towards our left ankle and we're going to do triangle opposite side i'm going to come towards you so left hand to left ankle and we're going to breathe that right arm up in the air and feeling that stretch keep it on mind we can use our yoga blocks if we choose just going to hang out here and hold this pose feeling the balance feeling the stretch three more breaths Two breaths. As we twist our body forward, like we're coming into a pyramid, but we're not we're gonna do revolve triangle opposite side. We're gonna breathe that right hand towards that left ankle and lift that left arm up in the air. <sighs> feeling that stretch, feeling that twist in that revolve triangle. Allowing the body to balance and soothe. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Exhale. 
legs coming back to center, coming into that pyramid. Just for a second, we're gonna twist that body forward, coming back into that wide legged forward fold. Feeling that stretch, head now downward towards the earth. Taking in a nice deep breath. Exhale. Feeling the head melt downward closer towards the earth. Lifting, stretching, soothing the body. Three more breaths. Hanging out here in this pose, we're going to slightly bend our knees. We're going to come up onto our tippy toes gonna work on the spider pose. We're gonna work on the lower parts of our feet. So we're up on our tippy toes, knees are bent. That is a spider pose. If we choose, we can cross our hands in front of us and come down on our fingertips. Spider pose. We are working our legs. We're working our feet, our ankles. Just building strength in the toes, the ankles, the parts that we don't normally work. Three more breaths. Two breaths. <laughs> Exhaling back out, straightening those legs, connecting the hands to the yoga mat or to the ankles, allowing the body to counter the stretch we just did. Breathe in. Exhale. Coming up to a half forward fold. Ah, we're gonna connect our left hand to our right ankle. And we're gonna wrap this right arm around our back. how we're doing our thread the needle and we're gonna gaze over our right shoulder. We are in that cross body stretch, feeling that spinal twist. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Exhaling back to center, half forward fold. Feeling that stretch. <sighs> As we bring this right hand to that left ankle, crossing this left arm around our backs like we do when I thread the needle. As we gaze over that left shoulder, recline, spinal twist. I'm sorry, cross body, spinal twist, opposite side. Two more breaths. <clears throat> Exhaling back to center, wide-legged, breathing our hands in front of us, legs come together, down dog. As we come into a three-legged, breathing that right leg up in the air, feeling that stretch. Taking a nice deep breath in. Exhale, pigeon pose, breathing that right foot in front of the body, crossing that leg in front of the body. We are in that pigeon pose, right foot's crossed in front of us, left leg goes towards the back. <sighs> Feeling that body relaxing and soothing here. <sighs> Using our hands to push our torso away from our thighs. Heart chakras open, chin is up. As we slightly gaze over our right shoulder, feeling that slight spinal twist, two more breaths. Exhaling back to center. We're gonna gaze over that left shoulder. Gazing back at that left leg that stretches out behind us. That feels good. We're going to lift that left leg up in the air, connecting that left foot to the left hand, coming into that king pigeon. <sighs> Heart chakras open, chin is up. We also can flow into a mermaid by bringing that left leg outward towards the side and cuffing it inside of your elbow. <sighs> If we have a client who would like to do these poses, but they cannot get into the poses just yet, the yoga strap will be the friend. Bring in a yoga strap, cuffing that yoga strap to the foot, 
and breathing that leg behind you to be in that king pigeon. See that there, arms flows above the head, holding on to that yoga strap. Heart chakra is open, chin is up. For the pyramid, you bring the leg outward towards the side and cuff this around your elbow like your foot is in your elbow. Pyramid, I'm sorry, mermaid. So mermaid pose is when your leg is off towards the side, cuffing your elbow. King pigeon is when your leg is behind you and your hand is connected to your feet or both your hands are. So they look very similar. People get them mixed up, but they are not the same pose. Two more breaths. We're gonna exhale, relax in that left leg towards the back. Breathing our bodies forward as we gaze over our right shoulder, feeling that twist. Exhale, the back to center. We're gonna relax our torso downward towards our thigh. Crossing our hands in front of us, coming into a sleeping pigeon. Just taking a moment to relax and soothe the mind and body here today. Allowing the shoulders to melt forward towards the earth. Feel in a heartbeat, connect to your thigh, to your leg, to the earth. Eyes are gazed down and closed. The mind is relaxed. The body is relaxed. Four breaths of silence. Two more breaths. Slowly awakening from that sleeping pigeon, using your palms to push your torso away from your thigh. Untucking that back toe. Pushing our bodies up, breathing our right leg towards the back, down dog, gazing at the feet. Walking our dog, by pet on our feet, left and right. As we breathe our left leg in the air, feeling that stretch, three-legged dog, opposite side, gazing at the foot. Taking a nice deep breath in. Exhale, pigeon pose, opposite side, breathing that left foot forward. This time my right leg is straight out towards the back. My palms are pushing our torsos away from our thigh. Heart chakras open, chin is up. We are in our pigeon pose. Two more breaths. As we slightly gaze over our left shoulder, feeling that spinal twist. Exhaling back to center. Gazing over our right shoulder. Checking out that right thigh, maybe connecting that right hand to that right thigh, just connecting it, tapping it. If that feels good, maybe we can lift up that right foot, connecting that right foot into that right hand, pigeon pose. Optioning to use that yoga strap or we can bring that right leg out towards the side, cuffing it in our elbow, coming into that mermaid. Whatever feels best for you. I'm gonna grab my yoga strap. And just feeling the stretch here, here in our pyramid. Our leg is behind us. And our mermaid, our leg is out towards the side. Once again, King Pigeon, the leg is behind us. We're gonna hang on to this pose or whatever pose we choose in our pigeon for three more breaths. Two 
two breaths. Slowly relaxing that right leg towards the back. Palms come forward. Slightly gazing over that left shoulder, feeling that spinal twist. Exhaling back forward, untucking that right toe, lifting our bodies away from the earth. Breathing that left foot back to our damn dog. Gazing at our feet. Dropping down to our dolphin, coming onto our forearms. Our buttocks is high in the air. We are gazed back at our feet. Two more breaths. Dropping down to our knees, we're gonna flow into a puppy pose or a child's pose. Puppy pose, our buttocks is high in the air. Torso comes downward towards the earth. In a child's pose, our buttocks is towards our heels of our feet. And torso is down towards the earth. So whatever best pose feels best for you here in your body. Heart chakra is connected to the earth. Our third eye chakra, which is our forehead, is connected to the earth. As we gaze the eyes down, relaxing and soothing. Silent meditation, seven natural breaths. Optioning to breathe our palms together above our head and pray your hands if that feels good. Four more breaths. Extending our arms in front of us, coming into that extended child's pose, or puppy pose. Arms are extended, palms are flat on the earth. We spine wave our bodies out of our child's pose or puppy pose, using our palms to wave that body forward. We're using our palms to wave and push our buttocks towards our heels, keeping that tummy nice and tight and feeling that spinal cord, the head, the neck, which is the cervical spine, completely wave the body here. Tummies are tight and we are moving, relaxing and soothing our spine. Four breaths. Going as fast or as slow as your body needs. Two more breaths. Mm. As we find our pause at center, breathing our legs together, coming into down tabletop pose. Palms are flat on the earth. We're gonna drop down to our cow. Chin is up. Mm -hmm. Exhale to cat. Flow into cow. Exhale to table. Crossing our feet at our ankle. We're going to come on to our buttocks just for a second. We're going to roll. We're going to come on to our backs. Breathing our knees into our chest. Hugging our knees into our chest. Relaxing and soothing here. Allowing the shoulder blades to connect to the yoga mat. Lifting our legs up in the air. Reaching our hands to the backs of our legs or to our feet as we bring our legs towards our torso. Our buttocks come slightly off the earth. Extending our legs back to legs on a wall, an invisible wall. As we connect our hands to our toes and allow our legs to come wide legged, wide legged recline stretch just feeling this stretch here in their inner thighs 
Two more breaths. Using our hands to breathe our legs back together, legs on the wall. Breathing our knees into our chest. As our knees flow towards the left, recline spinal twist. <sighs> Feeling that spinal cord soothed and relaxed, decompress as our right arm comes out to the side like a lowercase t. As we gaze up at the heavens or gaze over our right shoulder, going deeper in that stretch. Taking a nice breath in. Exhale. Four breaths of silence. Two more breaths. Exhaling the body back to center, breathing the knees into the chest, hugging them in just for seconds. As we allow our knees to flow towards the right, recline spinal twist, right side, knees are flow towards the right. Left arm comes out to the side like a lowercase t. We are gazed up at the heavens or we are gazed over our left shoulder. Feeling that spinal twist. Shoulder blades are melted back into the yoga mat. Eyes are closed or gaze down. Four breaths. Two more breaths. Exhale back to center, breathing the knees into the chest. Crossing our feet at our ankles. As we do a tummy crunch, lifting our bodies up, doing a tummy crunch, abdominal crunch. Lifting that body up, we're gonna come into that boat pose, working our core, working all our abdominals. We can keep our feet crossed at our ankles or we can bring our legs parallel. Palms can be beside our legs. We can also extend our palms up in the air. Feeling that core, the abdominal muscles get nice and tight, working those obliques, the abdominals. Three more breaths. Two breaths. We're gonna hold this pose, breathing our hands in. We're gonna cross our feet at our ankles. Continuing to work those abdominals, feeling that burn. Working, soothing, relaxing, building strength. Yes, crossing those feet. You may also feel this in your legs. So we are working the core, the back, the legs. Four more breaths. Two more breaths. <sighs> yes, feeling the burn. We're gonna find that pause, breathing our knees to our body, bringing our feet to our hands, connecting the feet to the hands, this is a counter stretch, noticing how this relaxes the abdominals as well as the leg muscles we just worked. This is a counter stretch, finding pause. We're gonna work on that bow pose variation. Breathing that left leg out towards the side like a V, feeling that stretch, yes. So we got one leg in, one leg out. Let me come forward so you can see. One leg in, one leg out. You'll feel that stretch behind your legs and your hamstring, yes. <sighs> Backs are straight, tummies are tight. We're gonna breathe that left leg back in and we're gonna extend that right leg out now. Feel that? Feel that stretch in the opposite side. Yes. Right here in that thigh, strengthening, lengthening, shall I say. Tummies are tight, spinal cord is elongated. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Exhale, breathing that leg back in, keeping that tummy nice and tight, back muscles are nice and elongated, strong here. We're gonna extend that left leg back out towards the side. Then we're gonna extend that right leg out towards the side. Our legs are like a V. They also call this bear pose. 
Keeping that back straight is how we, is how we stay up. If we bend that back, we may fall over. Keeping that core muscles nice and tight, and we can breathe our legs inward, or we can extend our legs out towards the side, coming into a wide-legged V. Noticing that when we move our legs in and out, we are working our abdominal muscles. So freestyling, doing whatever feels best for you here in our V pose. Four more breaths. Feeling the stretch, feeling the lengthening, and keeping the core muscles tight. Two more breaths. Exhaling our feet and coming into a bow position, diamond or butterfly. Relaxing our feet together, slightly hinging at the hips. Torso relaxes downward towards the feet. Head melts downward towards the feet. Taking a nice breath in. Exhale. Relaxing and soothing. Three breaths. Two breaths. Exhale back to center, using our hands to push our bodies up. We're going to bring our feet inward together, coming into a cow face legs. Just crossing that right leg over that left or opposite side. Whatever feels best for you on your cow face legs. Just relaxing that body, connecting the hands to the feet. We're going to use our hands, our thumb, and our fingertips to apply pressure to our toes, to the front of our feet to the center of our feet. These are the pressure points in our feet. That just helps relieve tension, soothes and relaxes the mind and body. Simply applying pressure to the feet. Allowing the intuitions of your body to tell you where the pressure is needed. Allowing the eyes to gaze down. down. Just relax the body. Shoulders melt down. Feel in the silence. Being comfortable with the silence. Around you, being with them. Or being comfortable with the noise around you and with them. No judgment zone. And if we choose, we can breathe our palms at heart center coming into that seated prayer. Shoulders relax downward away from the ears. Palms are at our sternum, the center of our chest. Tummies are tight and our spinal cords are nice and long. As we take a nice, deep, intentional breath in, Hold the breath. Exhale through the mouth. Breathe in deeply. Exhale fully. As we use this time to thank ourselves for allowing ourselves to practice self-care here today. For in a busy, busy world, it is a beautiful thing when we find time self. And I would like to thank you for allowing me to practice self-care with you here today, for it truly, truly is a blessing. The light in me feels, appreciates, and accepts the only muscle parts we didn't really work on today was our gluteus maximus so when we're done and we close off here today if you guys want to stay on the mat and do a couple of bridge poses and lift that gluteus maximus up in the air to feel that full workout maybe because i know i'm gonna do it i just gotta because i feel like I didn't do my gluteus maximus, but it's already 8.03, so I had to skip that part. 
So if you guys want to um, work on that gluteus maximus as well, you know, go into a couple of bridge poses or a couple of just palms on the hands and just lifting, you know, the legs both sides up in the air just to get that gluteus maximus muscle work. And then they'll feel like we had a full body workout here today. 